Okay, so on the first question um, for local work, I think one of the more important things that um, myself as part of the DC Justice for Muslims Coalition have been working on is specifically on sanctuary cities. Um, and perhaps many of you in this room are familiar with um, the various aspects of that, but really thinking about ways to include language around Muslim rights in particular, um, because a lot of times the sanctuary movement has focused specifically on immigrant rights. So how do we broaden that? How do we think about um, the ways in which we can protect Muslims from, in DC in particular, um, ICE enforcement, any sort of repercussions from DHS, whatever it is. Um, so I think that that's one uh, really important and great way to get involved. Also working with um, allies. So we've done that as well, and we've been quite successful. We've mobilized over 100 individuals to take actions at Customs and Border Protection, for example, after um, Muslim Ban 1 and 2. And in another aspect we worked on closely with our allies is for them to go into their communities and talk about Islamophobia. So for the allies to do the work of dismantling the system of oppression. Because as Muslims, we bear a heavy burden, right? Speaking to Islamophobia all the time, speaking to the grievances we have, speaking to our experiences. So really working with allies and especially white allies because Islamophobia needs to be dismantled fundamentally in the white community because Islamophobia is a manifestation of white supremacy. So on that, uh, leading into my next point about, you know, working to dismantle other systems of oppression, um, you know, just because Muslims happen to be sort of the target now, it doesn't mean that other forms of prejudice and discrimination have gone away, right? It's not that anti-blackness went away. It's not that xenophobia went away. We can't say, make those claims, right? We just happen to be sort of the focus in this particular climate. So that's why it's really important to develop an intersectional lens, right? So all of us embody multiple identities simultaneously. And then what does it mean to develop a system where everyone is treated equitably, not just because they're Muslim, but because they're female, because they're Arab, whatever it is. So I think when we're talking about dismantling Islamophobia, we have to talk about dismantling racism. We have to talk about dismantling xenophobia. We have to talk about dismantling anti-blackness. It's all of these things. And none of us wins until all of us wins. That's really sort of should be the founding, the sort of the principle under which we operate. And that's also why it's extremely important to form coalitions and to work across different issue areas and recognize in many cases that, for example, state violence affects all of us. It affects us in different ways, but if we come together and challenge state violence, then we will be more effective. <laughs> 